Welcome back, everybody. Welcome back to another Marvel's Rivals video on my YouTube channel. This time, we're going to do like kind of like a wish list for Marvel Rivals for all the new characters I think should be added to the game. So let's get right into it. So first things first, we got the X-Men leader, Cyclops. I think Cyclops would be an amazing add to this game. Honestly, long distance shooting wise. Uh, team leader, maybe a passive ability for team leaders. Honestly, Cyclops is a freaking legend when it comes to the comics and currently, right now, X-Men 97. However, the movies have not done him justice at all, so, yeah. Next, if you have Cyclops, you must have Jean Grey. And Jean Grey could easily be the most overpowered character in the game, if you're not careful. Mostly because she is one of the most powerful mutants. When it comes to M the uh, Marvel cinema or Marvel comic book history, honestly, maybe p potentially just throwing objects in the environment, like those breakable objects you see in the environment. Maybe Jean has the ability to pick them up and throw them at characters, perhaps, or maybe getting potentially get into see people's head and then like a, maybe a Phoenix Force or something like that as her ultimate. Where once she dies, you have an opportunity to pop her ult that just annihilates everybody. That's a potentially interesting idea. Next, I always suggest everybody's fan favorite, Daredevil. And Daredevil, honestly, you could have so much fun with him. Or maybe some echolocation stuff. Or especially like if you're a, someone who is blind, just like in real life, maybe you can adapt like some accessibility features that would go along with a character like this. Or maybe the whole concept of when you're playing in the atmosphere, the world's on fire, just like how uh, Matt Murdock and Daredevil see a world on fire. You can do many things, like maybe like hand-to-hand -hand combat with his uh, weapon, echolocation pretty much for, I don't know, for enemies nearby or something like that, a dodge, a good dodge, maybe a grapple you can maybe add. Honestly, a character like this is unlimited for a potential of what you can do. Scarlet Witch would be next. And I, I didn't add Vision to this list, honestly, because if you do Scarlet Witch, you can probably just add Vision in the nut, nutshell. But Scarlet Witch in itself is a very good character. Honestly, she's amazing in comic books. She, well, not just comic book. But she's easily like toe to toe, just as powerful as Jean Grey, if not, I'm pretty sure even more powerful. Uh, what else? Oh, like, what else is there to say? Like, you can do some long range attacks. You can, I think, a good maybe a potential for ability is to warp people's minds, like a kind of like a mind trick ability where your controls get inverted or something like that. Or she has the ability to block projectiles that are launched at her, or like even melee attacks. I think that would be interesting. So I uh, maybe a little, like more of a support character that can turn into an attacker, maybe. Uh, Silver Surfer is next. I think Silver Surfer would be a very interesting pick. However, you got to be careful. Last thing you need is a floating character that can be OP just a bit. So someone kind of like an Overwatch. I can't remember the name off the top of my head. Who just basically is a just flies around and shoots like missiles. At him. Hmm missiles out of her wrist and her uh, stuff i think a very similar like abilities you can adopt for that but maybe like uh, uh i i don't know how much to say how to explain the abilities i've only seen him in the movies but i know that technically he can be very powerful and i'm very excited to see what he is like in the movies however i wouldn't be opposed to definitely updating everybody's knowledge on his abilities within the game and i think he would be a very interesting addition especially since uh galactus's daughter i believe is basically the main menu individual so that might be very interesting uh next character is rogue uh i think rogue is an incredible character she is amazing when it comes to x-men 97 she's amazing in the comics and basically the reason why she can fly is because I'm pretty sure in particular she's pretty much took away Captain Marvel's abilities. So that might be sick. So a little play on abilities wise, maybe 
Rogue has the ability to steal other people's abilities temporarily, like she does in the comics. However, I don't know how that will go with Loki, because I'm pretty sure in my next video that I'm going to be doing right after this, I believe Loki has the ability to copy um, others on the field. However, I think Rogue could maybe, maybe, maybe it's something like that where she, like her main melee ability could be um, just her fist or something. While as soon as she absorbs somebody's ability, she can copy somebody's basic ability or something like that. So if you need, if you're in, if you need somebody's, um, if you need maybe a, a long range attack temporarily or something like that, and you're feeling like you're getting out angled or something like that, and you need something that involves a lot more distance, Rogue maybe has the ability to take a, take somebody's ability temporarily. And start like adjusting her play style. I think she has the ability. She might be a carbon copy of Loki potentially. I'm maybe potentially, but I think there's like she's such a badass. Like I don't think there's a wrong choice when it comes to this. Uh, we'll go next is Gambit. If you have Rogue, you must have Gambit. Dude, you could do so much shit with Gambit. He can be a projectile. He can be like a Genji from Overwatch Two. Like I think. That'll be sick, kind of like just throwing your cards out and then having the cards explode while having the ability to use a staff temporarily. And with the new team up ability, you can do exactly what you saw in the X-Men 97 uh, trailer where he can shoot out his stuff or charge up uh, your teammate's stuff. And you have kind of a teammate ability where it can cause an explosion of damage or something like that. So like uh, Iron Man, you can maybe have more of a kind of like explosive uh a bombish maybe ability attached to him something like that maybe uh i heard temp potentially wolverine might be coming in so you can do like wolverine's claws just like in the um in the trailer um what else uh yeah i think if you have rogue you must have gambit honestly that'd be such a cool combo especially <laughs> Like I would, I would, I would happily pay top money just to play Gambit as a character in in Marvel Rivals. Ant Man. Ant Man can be potentially broken as hell, but also can be probably a useless character. I think maybe if you keep Ant Man as mostly as a melee character, kind of maybe someone as big as the Hulk, maybe, maybe a bit bigger. But then has the ability to sh like, how would you incorporate a shrink character that's almost impossible to kill? That would be interesting. However, I don't think that would be possible because that would be like almost impossible to kill. However, I don't know. Maybe you can do like a potentially two different forms or something like that. Where, however, in the bigger form, you take less damage, but you're a bit slower. But you um do medium damage or something like that. That you can go head to head with the bigger guys, but you're more susceptible to the smaller guys. However, or you can mix it up where you turn into a very small guy. You t you turn into maybe like a tracer or something like that, where you take like any bit of hand damage or something like that. Very hard to kill or something, and then increase damage. However, decrease in health. Maybe there's a some flexibility stuff you can do right there. Maybe you can ask Wasp in there, maybe do a little one, two, three, one, two counter or something like that. And my personal favorite, because when it comes to MMORPGs or Overwatch, you can never go wrong with a bow character. There is nothing wrong with adding a simple bow character to any game. It is as simple as that. Hawkeye is easily one of the best characters in the MCU. Not because I'm a fanboy or anything, mostly because. When he's not there, everything goes to shit, pretty much. So basically, everybody, this is my wish list for the uh, Marvel Rivals, maybe a potential additional characters in the future. If you have any ideas of maybe potentially characters uh, you want to see added, comment down below. I'll be so happy to discuss potentially what in the future, what characters should be added, what abilities. And I'll be definitely covering what type of abilities every single character uses in the game. So pretty much next video, 
you'll see from me is basically doing the breakdown for uh, the Loki kit. And I can't wait to see. And hopefully, hopefully, doesn't take away a potential rogue coming to the game. Crossing fingers. That's my personal thing. I, w I hope rogue might be added to the game. However, depending on how Loki kit works, you might have some mix up there. So we'll see you next video, everybody. Peace out. And hopefully everybody has a wonderful night, okay?